Testimony continuing this afternoon in the punishment phase of the Otis McCain trial. He's the man convicted in the capital murder of SAPD detective Benjamin Marconi. And McCain's ex-girlfriend back on the stand for cross-examination. Erica Hernandez joins us live from outside the courtroom with the very latest. Erica, at times, it appeared this cross-examination got a little tense. Yeah, that's correct, Steve. It seems that the defense was implying that Sahara Hill was not allowing McCain to see his son. Now, defense attorney Joel Perez focused on a certain court order, saying it ordered Hill to let McCain see their son on certain days. He also pointed out that another protective order that was issued didn't change that court order ruling. Both the state and the defense went back and forth on this issue with Hill. Do you see any work here that it says you no longer have to file follow the visitation order? It's not in here. Would you agree? I'll, I'll hand you the document if you want. And when you described to the jury yesterday when he punched you in your face and had bruises all over your chest, did you feel his love then? What I felt was pain, humiliation. High can be based on um, their charges and that institutional behavior. Okay. Now, also on the stand was a Bear County jail sergeant who spoke about heightened security around McCain after last week's incident when he hit a bailiff after his verdict was given. Now, it was a sh short day for the jury. We'll explain that coming up at 6. And we also will remind you that we are live streaming this case. You can find it at KSAT.com. Steve, Ursula. A short day for jurors in the punishment phase for Otis McCain. Lawyers were left arguing about upcoming testimony dealing with victim impact statements. Our Erica Hernandez has details on how proceedings ended this afternoon. The prosecution was about to begin testimony this afternoon with a fellow officer of Detective Benjamin Marconi when the defense objected to it. The jury was let out and then sent home after a juror had an emergency. Lawyers from the state and the defense then argued about whether victim impact statements should be allowed. The Supreme Court has said this is the opportunity to humanize Benjamin Marconi now that he's been convicted. But this is also where uh, the prosecutors have requested a charge to be given the jury. They don't have to base their decision on any kind of sympathy or anything like that. That's purely what this is. Now, if this testimony is allowed tomorrow, we expect to hear from that fellow officer, family members of Detective Marconi, as well as his SVU supervisor. Court resumes tomorrow at 9 a.m. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.